All right, welcome back, everybody. If you're looking for some family-friendly fun, we have just the thing for you. The Arvada Kite Festival is happening next weekend. And <laughs> with her big, beautiful yeah, kite, kite here <laughs> is Rebecca Levison with the Arvada Fest, Arvada Festivals. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. So tell us all about the Kite Fest. Sure, uh, we've been doing the Kite Festival for a couple years, and uh, it's just a way to get the family together, to get your kite out. It makes me kind of feel like I'm in Mary Poppins when we're, <laughs> we're there with all those kites, uh, which is wonderful, but a great way to just be outside with hopefully good weather and hang out with the family. Next weekend is looking pretty good. I don't want to jinx it, but yeah, fingers crossed she for great weather the for that. <laughs> <laughs> and Arvada has quite a few events happening throughout the spring and summer, including some movie nights, craft beer and barbecue fest. Can you tell us more about these? Yes, you bet. Uh, we'll have our uh, beer festival in June. So we uh, have a bunch of different um, local breweries come by and then we had a barbecue cook-off last year so hopefully we'll be doing the same thing this year um, and then movies uh, we do them around town in Arvada so it's our local parks we've got this awesome inflatable um, little uh, screen which is awesome so bring your blankets bring some snacks and uh, again just spend some time with your community and with your family love that okay and right now this is the time to work gas prices are rising grocery store prices are rising everything just seems so expensive talk about just the importance of this free family fun these days yes exactly um it is a way to support your local community i mean we've got um local vendors and then um just being together with family and your yeah, your community. I feel like we don't focus on that basic kind of thing uh, as much as we should and can bring a smile to your face, your kids' faces, and yeah, just focus on the fun and being outside. So personally, I haven't flown many kites. For, so for next weekend, are there going to be people on hand kind of just showing you how to do it or? Uh, yeah, we'll actually have uh, some pros with kites doing Great. some shows for us. And then uh, there'll be all sorts of folks knowing what to do with the kites. <laughs> uh, you can buy them while you're there or maybe jump on Amazon or, you know, head up to that kite shop in Boulder and uh, grab one and bring it down. And there'll be plenty of help for you. Oh, that's amazing. I could use some help with that. So how can everyone out there stay up to date with what the city of Arvada is doing and all the events you have going on? Perfect. You can find us on Facebook under Arvada Festivals uh, and then also our website I think is one of the great places uh, if you're interested in volunteering or just joining one of our events arvadafestivals.com would be the way to go. All right great then and here is that info one more time so this year's kite festival is happening Sunday April 10th Katie said good weather uh, hopefully at the is it the Stinger soccer field? Uh, Stinger so soccer field. Stinger soccer fields from 10 to 3 and Best of all, it's free. Exactly. Thanks so much, Rebecca. Thanks for having me.